it wasn't really a first time that I listened to metal. I listened to metal ever since I can remember. My dad was a huge metal fan ever since the early 80s, so I've been listening to Black Sabbath, uh, Iron Maiden, Metallica, like growing up, basically throughout all my life. The first concert I went to, uh, first metal concert I went to, was uh, Metallica, and basically it was the most mind-blowing concert I've ever seen in my life. The guitars, the guitar, and just like the energy of the crowd were amazing. The bass was just crazy. The drumming was amazing. It was just an electrifying concert for me, and I don't get that feeling very often. The purpose of doing this documentary is to educate people about a genre of music that has been overlooked for years and possibly even decades. I'm Henrik Olsen. I'm Chris Knoll. This, this is, is metal. metal. Ah, metal. A genre of music with such a huge and diverse history and more subgenres than any other type of music. To make sense of it all, we went to Hicks Bros Music Store in Aurora and talked with someone who had first-hand experience with the metal scene. My name's Ken Mandat, um, guitar player, obviously. Um, back in the early 80s, uh, I was in a band called Damien Thorne, metal band. Uh, we had a record deal for with a and Records and Roadrunner Records. What Damien Thorne was, was a cross between what they called uh, power metal yeah. and thrash metal or speed metal. We all came out of like classical music backgrounds. So the whole, yeah, we liked to incorporate that a little bit. So a lot of our stuff back then had that kind of like um, classical vibe to it, you know, a lot of like harmonic minor scales yeah. and, and things like that, you know. I saw, I saw your song, um, was it Fire, was Fire in the Sky? Yeah, Fire in the Sky. That's yeah. Crazy guitar solo. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks. By the time I was 19, 20 years old, I was, you know, already on the road and touring and, you know, uh, opening up for you know the bands at the time you know we played with uh, Motorhead, Iron Maiden, uh, Black Sabbath, you, you know Metallica yeah you know Black Sabbath kind of started that whole thing off you know with the slow doomy sounding trudgy kind of metal you know um, Led Zeppelin had a lot to do with it you know, but it didn't really become metal, so to speak, until bands like uh, Judas Priest came along. A um, little couple of years later, Iron Maiden. Um, you know, a lot of bands started coming out of uh, England, basically. Yeah. And, you know, the original, what they call the original wave of, of metal. And that type of metal... Uh, I guess got categorized kind of like power metal. The adults who were running the businesses at the time, That's meaning the, the labels and the, you know, they thought that it would make more money if they cleaned that up a, a bit. So that's why, you know, the really poppy hair band thing, they looked at that as more harmless, you know. It was more about bubble gum and girls instead of, you know, Dungeons and Dragons or whatever, you know. Do you think fans of your underground scene like stuck with that or you think Oh, definitely. Can, yeah. And that's why that's why bands like Sabbath and Maiden and popular. Priest and are still around and they're still popular and they're still doing things and you know all the hair bands are went away. They just said, "Well, it's this is all metal and, you know." That's why, you know, Back then, you'd see like uh, American Music Awards or something, and you know, best metal record. I think yeah. the one time, who uh, was it, Jethro, Jethro Tull? Tull. Or something. The nominations for best hard rock metal performances are. And Justice for All, Metallica. 
Crest of a Knave, Jethro Tull. And the winner is Crest of a Knave, Jethro Tull. They're, they're not even metal, know. you know, they're nothing close to metal. I mean, they're a great band, but that's a whole different thing. To me, metal is a, aggressive, okay. you know. It's not, um, it's not happy, you know, generally. Yeah. It's more, uh, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but th to me, that's not metal. The whole bubble gum and girly thing, that's it's pop, you know, it's pop, you know, rock, you know, it's, I mean, that, I don't want to put that music down or any music down. It's all, there's a place for all that stuff. There's a reason that's here. There's a reason this is here. But, you know, that is what it is, you know, and that shouldn't be compared to this because it's two completely different things. <laughs> Hear the soldiers running.